What's going on guys? So today's video, this video is just a spur of the moment type of video. So when I came across some of these fragrances, I'm like, yo, haven't talked about them in a little while. And I ended up doing a top five list from this brand four years ago. But this is a brand that has made me the superstar that I am today. Has inflated my ego in my head. I think my head maybe kind of grew because I kind of went bald. But a lot of y'all in the Facebook groups, in the comment section below, the trolls, the guys from the Reddit fragrance jerks have said that a lot of the guys have become shills, sellouts, because money crept into the reviewers, into the reviewers' wallets. Well, the vast majority of us are not influencers by any means, even the top guys out there, okay? But I have yet to be paid by any brand and a lot of y'all have said that th this brand owes me money or at least a car. And today I'm going to give you my top five Ferrari fragrances. Ferrari has never paid me one red cent. I'm kind of guessing that because my channel is like really small in numbers, but th that's okay. But this is a brand that I've kind of been typecasted if you will so let's just get this started again this is just a, a very random video and this list will be in order as well fragrance number one ferrari's silver essence so with this one here this is going to be a kind of a unique scent but the note breakdown for this one here is going to be musk cardamom you're also going to get incense thyme clary sage birch different woods cedar pepper and what does make this one unique is the coconut note coconut is not exactly the most common note in perfumery but in this it's actually done quite nicely and it's quite unique it's still a safe scent but at the same time it's a little bit daring because it's a little bit bolder with notes of incense and these woods woods is pretty much a safe note if you ask me but with the spices okay this unfortunately has been discontinued and is well all ferrari fragrances have been discontinued. And a lot of them are so easily available, minus this one. This one I've been told is a little bit harder to find and it's true. I've looked on in the past to see if I could find them, unfortunately not. But with this fragrance here, this is a great suit and tie scent. It's a great casual scent, but more business casual. And it's also a tuxedo scent. So you can wear this to a black tie gala as well. This really does come across as a mature scent for a mature adult, so me, I really don't know. Because of that coconut note, this is a fragrance for someone who is serious, mature, but knows when to kind of let his guard down and have a little bit of fun. That coconut really does add a little bit of a youthful touch, but with that smoky incense note, it really does man this fragrance up quite a bit. So longevity on this is seven to eight hours. Fragrance number four, this fragrance, I really was not feeling when I first wore it a few times, but as I started to wear it a few more times, wow. Vetiver Essence. So the note breakdown is coffee, hazelnut, different pepper. It's either Szechuan pepper, black pepper, but it's most certainly pink pepper. So that second pepper note is pink pepper. You're gonna get vetiver, orris root, and so on. What this one is, it's vetiver, coffee, spices, and woods. This is a very masculine fragrance that is perfect for the fall, winter, and I would say that springtime as well. This one itself is fall and winter, but this is just a great signature scent. It's quite versatile. I would say that this is a little bit easier to wear than the Silver Essence, and it's a great masculine scent as well. This one is still very easily available from what I was able to gather, but with this one, you can dress it down to something like this, to a black tie as well. It's perfect for day, night. I would say that this is more so suited for someone who's 30 and up, and longevity off this is seven to eight hours as well. Fragrance number three, this one I've pumped quite a bit. I was the first guy to really hype this one up, so a lot of people out there, when they think of the name or when they hear the name, they think of me. So that's what really kind of got me as the Ferrari guy. But a lot of you guys are gonna be shocker that Ferrari Bright Neroli is only number three. With this one here, this is what the name is. It's bright and it's full of Neroli. This, I have said, comes across as Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. It's not 100%, it, go, it goes along 
that route, but it does become its own scent. With this one here, you get iris, you get neroli, so there is a slight, just a slight powderiness to this one here. There's vetiver, there's different citruses, there's also orange blossom and patchouli. What I get, I get some iris, I get neroli, and I pretty much just get citruses. I don't really get the vetiver, I don't get the patchouli, and I don't, and I do get a slight bit of orange blossom. This is unisex, the both genders, both sexes can wear this quite easily. This is a great set that's more casual, but you can wear this to the office with a suit and tie, or if you wanna wear it to a daytime, say, wedding, you can. But for me, it's more casual than anything. Longevity off this is six to seven hours. Fragrance number two, this is most certainly one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. Leather Essence. So this really, hence the name, Leather Essence. You're gonna get leather, you're gonna get cloves, you're gonna get spices, woods. So the official note breakdown, cloves, guyacquot, vanilla, which I don't get, cinnamon, you're gonna get bitter orange, and so on. What really is the most prominent notes? Cloves, leather, which is more of a suede if you ask me, with spices. That's what this really is. This is masculine, it's mature, but someone in their 20s could wear it, but it's more of a serious scent. This is not a fun scent. A lot of the Ferrari fragrances are really not all that fun, except for maybe this one here. This is great for spring and summer, by the way, while this one here is great for fall and winter. This is a great day and night scent. It's a perfect signature scent. It is heavy, so if you don't like, like heavy clothes, heavy leather on some people, on me, most certainly not, or just heavy spices, you're probably not gonna like this one here. This is a great suit and tie. Just overall, is very versatile. Longevity off this is eight to 10 hours. And my favorite fragrance from Ferrari, well, it's not gonna be Noble Fig. It's actually gonna be Cedar Essence. Yup, I know, I know, I'm just kidding. Radiant Bergamot, ha! With this one here, it's kind of like the name as well. It's radiant, but it's bright. So it, the bergamot in this, which is there's a lot of bergamot, hence the name, kind of radiates off your skin. But you're also gonna get lots of nutmeg and herbaceousness. This is more of a spicy, citrus, and herbaceous scent. So the official breakdown, nutmeg, bergamot, moss, rosemary, ginger, which you're gonna get, and lemon. This is just a great spring, summertime scent. I would say it's more casual, but you can wear it to work. You can wear it to a daytime semi-formal event, like a wedding. But for me, this is just pretty much casual. A student could wear this, not so much a high schooler. A high schooler could wear bright and rolly, no problem. But I would say that this is more so of a university or a college type of scent. Longevity off this is six to eight hours. So guys, I just gave you my top five Ferrari fragrances for 2020. I have, again, I have no, no idea if this is the exact same video that I filmed like four years ago. I really don't know. I think Cedar Essence did make that video, but it didn't make this one here. So any reviews that I've done on a Ferrari, and there's quite a bit because I was the Ferrari man at one time, not anymore, they will be down in the description below. If you wanna see other great top five brand fragrances such as Zagna or Guess, check out this list here. And if you wanna check out some great other cheapies, because Ferrari is a very cheapy house, check out this side here. Guys, thank you for your time, take care, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody.